I'm Sarah Ramos and welcome back to the Pottery Corner, my studio down on the south coast of England near Chichester. Welcome along everyone, good to have you back. A little bit different today, um, we've got a luster and uh, overglaze decal firing to unload from Midge, my smaller kiln. Now Midge is um, a three pin plug kiln so he doesn't need anything special in the way of wiring. Um, and there's a video on um, the, the kilns if you wanted to know um, about my road to kilns. So there is a video um, on the channel and I'll pop the, the name of the video on for you. So today we have done a luster decal firing in the small kiln. So I'm just going to flick the catch. Ha ha ha! Oh yes, we even have sneaky peeks in here. Now this kiln is completely cold. It was actually cold yesterday, um, but I didn't have time yesterday to do it. And today I have been to the hairdressers um, and I must show you the back of my hair. Look at the back of my hair. My lovely hairdresser Tash today did my hair and I said I was going to do some filming. Um, so she said, well, I'll put it up for you. So wasn't that kind? Um, quite nice when you have your hair done, isn't it, ladies? You know, it makes you feel a bit better. Uh, so for you boys who are all going, oh, come on. I can hear Freddie Moretti with his lovely cocktail in uh, Florida going, Sarah, get on with the kiln opening. So I will do. Nice to have you along, Freddie, as ever. Um, right, so get the kiln open. Uh, now, lustre and decals, overglazed decals. They are now readily available, as you may know. And lustres come in little bottles like this. Um, this one is a Colorabia. I've probably said that wrong. This is a mother of pearl luster. Um, they're not massively, massively expensive. I don't use it a lot. Sometimes I use it on things just to bring out a bit of colour. And also I have luster thinners. So I have the thinners that go with it because I was told, or whatever, that I needed to use thinners with my mother of pearl. Now the first time I used it, I didn't use the thinners because I didn't have any and I didn't know that I should have done. But then on reading the label, which is in, well, may I say the tiniest writing that you even can't read it, even with a magnifying glass, um, it does say that you're supposed to thin them by 15%. So I have done that since. And we shall see what happens in the kiln. Um, the other thing that I have are overglaze um, decals. These are gold decals. And they came from milestone decal art and i'll put the website address on for you so that you can see it and these um took an absolute age to arrive in the first lockdown and i thought they were never going to come um, and you will have seen these before on the previous luster firing um, but these come out gold so this sheet um this little small sheet of bird decals as you can see was 12 dollars so they're not that cheap. Um, so I did buy a sort of a selection of bits and bobs. Um, I bought some arrows, those are rather nice. Those are gold luster. Um, I haven't used those yet, as you can see. Um, and then I have this really pretty fern leaf. And I suspect because I'm such a nice, kind teacher, and I know that fern will be watching, You'll know my student Fern is making some dinner plates. So I might be a nice kind teacher and let her have one of those Fern decals. And indeed, there are gold ones, uh, copper. That's actually copper luster, that one. Um, so they come on these little tiny sheets and then you cut them out and apply them to things that have been through a biscuit firing, they've been glazed, they've come out of the glaze firing, so they are completely finished, and then you put your decals on. So let's get started. Um, the first one is one of the slip cast mugs that we've done, and as I said on uh, either the last kiln opening or the kiln opening before that, this uh, slip on here was supposed to be pink, but has come out this sort of taupe uh, beige colour, and actually I quite like it. And um, I had just a tester uh, decal of this clock um, detail. Really rather lovely. So I thought, you know what, I'll use it on one of my mugs and see how it comes out. 
and actually it's very, really very pretty. Um, so that's rather lovely. Um, and as I say, you know, you, you fire the kiln to a lesser temperature and indeed um, I was just going to run through the, the firing schedule for my decal luster firing that I use in my kiln. So um, it's 30 degrees centigrade per hour up to 200 degrees and then a 15 minute soak and then it's 120 degrees per hour up to 800 degrees centigrade which is its top temperature with again a 15 minute soak so you're really firing this kiln really really slowly uh, 30 degrees per hour is almost nothing up to 200 degrees so of course it takes six seven hours to get up to 200 degrees but if you try to rush that process it'll burn your decals off so be careful so that um, I'll put that program on the screen so that you can see it whilst I'm talking um, but that's the program that I use and obviously I have a programmer on my um, kiln so I've just plugged it into one of the program numbers so that it's a decal firing right so next one this is the other of the uh, pink slip mugs that came out um, beige and again I've used that beautiful fern um, gold and green uh, decal detail on there isn't that pretty I just think it really adds something to a plain mug um, so it's simple but effective so that is really really lovely very pretty happy with that um, and then I've made a mug for a friend of mine um, who, who likes bees um, so this is again one of the slip cast mugs that we took out of the kiln a couple of um, firings ago so this has been cast using casting slip and in the mold I put this um, really bright yellow slip and whirled it round the mold and again there's a video on that I'll put that on the screen for you um, and then used an Ellen transfer to put the black and white to put the black um, flower sort of decal and then on this one I've used some gold bees so there's a gold bee here and there's a gold bee here and there's a gold bee just on the inside here so I mean it just picks out a little bit of detail and obviously for somebody who likes bees perfect mug isn't that lovely and summery I said that when we took it out of the kiln last time but really pretty very happy with that um, Fern has been experimenting with some glass um, because again like me she's uh, she's done a, a course um, uh, a d I think actually she did a degree course so she's more um, up on it than I am but I did a City and Guilds uh, year-long course in uh, decorative stained glass and um, kiln formed glass so she's just playing with some test tiles and some stringers and um, some frit and bits and pieces so that's one of her little um, sort of tester pieces if you like so there's not very much in this kiln so this is not going to be a massively long video today uh, let's get that out um, and this little kiln has little sweet little bats aren't they gorgeous on shelves um, and then in the bottom all of these things are well there's another one of um, Fern's as I say, her tester pieces with this glass on. Quite nice how that bubbles, looks like water. Very pretty. Um, right. Um, and these are things that I have uh, glazed, uh, glaze fired, and then they were a bit boring, I have to say. So I have covered this in luster. I'm just going to grab my cloth. Um, I don't know if you can see, but on this luster, there's almost like a sort of a dust um, there. Um, so when I'm unpacking a luster firing, I just bring a cloth down. I don't know what it is. I think, I think it's probably the thinner residue that just stays on the piece. Um, so on this uh, particular mug, I've used a, a pink underglaze and then um, the dice um, underglaze decal from Ellen Transfers and then I've just put a luster just on the pink part just to 
brighten it up a bit. It has, it has, I hope you can see in the light that it has done that. It's given it that lovely sort of mother of pearl. I'm not entirely sure that the camera is catching that, but I hope that it is. This sort of mother of pearl shine on there. So it is there. It's not very prominent, but actually I quite like the subtlety of it. So that's quite nice. Next, there's not very many in here, you'll be pleased to hear. Next one, and again, as I say, when they come out, they have this, I don't know what that is. Somebody might be able to put in the comments what they think that might be. I think that it's the, um, the thinners. And I have to say that I think that the um, Mother of Pearl Luster is better without using the thinners. So I think that my first attempt with the luster, uh, where I didn't actually have any thinners, probably worked a little bit better. Um, although this is absolutely fine. I've actually put the luster on the handle. You might actually be able to see it a bit better on there. And again, um, on this one, I've used the Ellen Transfers underglaze transfer called Hydrangea. Um, and again, it's got an underglazed pink band and then I've just picked out the luster on the flower section. So on the bits where there are flowers, there's a little bit of luster. I'm trying to catch it in the, uh, in the studio lights, but I'm not entirely sure that that's actually happening. Um, but I think I'm gonna go back to using the luster without using the thinners. I think the thinners are doing something to it. And again, on this green one, you can see it slightly better, the residue um, on here, which I'm just taking off with a cloth, just so that I can just buff up the surface. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I think it must be the thinners because it didn't happen when I didn't use the thinners. So, so I think that the thinners are probably the culprit there. Um, so we've got, again, just uh, Mother of Pearl Luster just on the flower sections on this green mug. So not very over the top, very subtle. Um, I quite like that, quite like the subtleness of it. It shows better in the light um, than it's probably showing on the camera. Right, next, again, same theme. Um, and again, I'm just going to give it a rub. Now this is, again, Ellen Transfer's underglaze um, uh, sheet. This is the donut one. And I thought it would be quite fun to have um, the luster on the icing of the donut. So again, I've just used it just on the icing sections of this of the donuts on this. Um, and again, I'm not entirely sure that you'll be able to see that. Very subtle um, and probably more subtle than it was when I used it before. So again, I think that it's definitely worth not using the thinners. Uh, two more in here. This one is on the same theme again. Sorry, that's a prop just dropped on the floor. This again is the donut Ellen transfers with a purple underglaze and that is Amoco's Mulberry inside. And again, I've just used the Mother of Pearl on the donut icing. And I have to say that one, you can hardly see it. You can see it in the light, but you can hardly see it. It's really not very prominent. So I think if I'm going to use it again, I definitely will not be using the thinners with it. Um, and the last mug that I've left until last on purpose, um, last time I did a lustre firing, um, I had this problem again with green glaze. So this was glazed with Amico's True Celadon, which is um, a very stable glaze usually, and uh, a sort of a, 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 a lightish mid-jade green. And the last time that I put uh, something in the kiln that had some decals on it and a green glaze, um, I had this same problem where it changes the colour of the glaze. 
Now this has got mother of pearl um, lustre all the way round it on top of the um, the cactus uh, decal from again from Ellen Transfers. But look at that, that is really nasty. And again, the handle was Amico True Celadon and it's changed it to this sort of muddy river bottom, very nasty. I mean, what can you do with that? I mean, you know, it's just ghastly, isn't it? I suppose you could put a goldfish in it, but that's about all you could do with it. Um, and again, the luster on the outside, it is there, but not very prominent. I hope that you're catching a flash of it in the light. Um, so, upshot of all of that is, um, if you are going to use Mother of Pearl Lustre, my advice would be, don't bother with the thinners because clearly it does affect them. But the um, the gold decals and the, the you know the the, the over overglaze decals are beautiful. Really happy with how they have come out. And I mean, what a pretty little mug. So I'm seeing Carol tomorrow. So um, I shall pass this on, and I'm sure she'll be delighted with it. So short but sweet this week. Um, Mungo is already. Um, he is already packed, ready to go on, because uh, we are almost back to back um, firing at the moment. Um, there's bits and pieces on the shelf. I was playing this morning, she says, trying desperately not to break the rim, uh, with a bowl and some slip decoration. So again, I've been using the vinyl um, stencils that we've been playing with <coughs> over the last few weeks. Um, so this is just some koi carp and then I've just put some slip dots on. So it'll be interesting to see <coughs> how that comes out. So that's been thrown on the wheel. So yes, it's nice to have an opportunity to uh, play with things and have a little go. Um, and Karen, my friend who you know, um, uh, she, she's going to bring some vinyl stencils to the studio on Saturday. So I'm hoping that she will be able to get those up on her Etsy shop and I will update you if that is the case between my filming and her coming and um, I'll pop a little note up on the screen with an update on that. Um, so that's really your lot. There are items for sale in my Etsy shop as ever. If you would like to take a look that would be great. I'm just working on the template for <coughs> the wonky pots and then I'm going to do a wonky pot tutorial I promise. I know you've been waiting a lot of you. Um, and um, thank you for your messages and your comments as ever. I appreciate them. Uh, Lynn Donnelly sent me an absolutely brilliant um, email this week and I wish that I'd brought the, the copy down because she sent me some photographs of um, the work that she has just done for her assessment for her degree. So thank you very much, Lynn, for sending that over and I'll um, bring the pictures down for people to see because it's really interesting to see the work that people are doing. Um, so that's all for now. Have a look at the website, which is www.thepotterycorner.co.uk. Please subscribe and ring the bell. New content coming out every week. So that's your lot for today. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.